But first, for years we've wondered how to write about our daily lives and do it effectively, I think, is really the challenge. What to say, how to make it interesting, even how to stick with it. Many of us have gotten away from journaling at all. However, it appears that the desire to journal, to write and to journal, is more intense than ever. My next guest says old-fashioned pen-to-paper writing in a personal journal has not been replaced by photo books, or even our Facebook feed. Storykeeper Heidi Swap is here to explain it. So great to see you. Well, it's happy. I'm happy to be back. I fit into the category of women who want to do this, who recognize the value of it, but just can't get in a good rhythm, so to speak. I want to establish first, though, you really are seeing this. I can't call it a trend because it's been around forever, but you're seeing a push toward this. You're meeting with buyers, forecasting what's coming up in the creative scene, and journaling is at the top of the list. Well, and that's kind of one of the advantages that I have in my position is that I'm meeting with people who are have their pulse on what's coming next yes. always yes. and as as we're kind of meeting in the middle like this mindfulness movement is huge and there is nothing that gets you kind of connected with yourself than actually physically writing and so and and this is popping up a, a lot journaling workshops people that are going back out and wanting journals and you know me I want to DIY it yes yes um but I am excited because I've never moved away. Well, Heidi's basically that. saying, thanks for finally listening to me, everybody. <laughs> right. You're a storyteller at heart, and really journaling is the purest form of storytelling. Well, and here's what happened. My oldest son, and in fact, I have a picture of him here, um, left to go on a mission for the LDS Church nine months ago. Uh -huh. And he's sitting with his friends, and, and they're like, we're not going to write journals. We're just going to, our letter home is going to be our journal. And I started like, convul you know, <laughs> freaking out. <laughs> what do you heard that and had a seizure, basically. You know, and I was like, you guys, this is all you have left. And so I made a journal for Colton okay. the night before he left, like literally 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm crafting the journal. You sat and with him on the plane to Japan. I did. And he turned into this journaler. And he's got like beautiful handwriting, and he tells stories. And I designed some pages that helped him skip the hard stuff. So really for people, like getting started is really hard. So what do you mean skip the hard stuff? You gave him prompts? Yeah, yeah. And in fact, so in the page, and maybe I'll just grab it. This sure. is this is volume four oh my gosh, that is getting ready to ship beautiful. out for him, right? Look at this. And so when, when we open it, you can see that I've personalized it for him. Mm -hmm. And I like to add photos. Photos are a comfort and, and kind of a reassurance. And tell me how you've done that. You've laminated it and just hole punched the side? Yes, I've hole punched it and I'll show it to you. And actually, they're removable. Oh, nice. So I can, I hole punch them and then snip, snip the sides uh -huh. that makes it easy to Technical go back term. to. Snip. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so when you look here inside, it has the date, the highlights, a steady focus, and also a place to like highlight a miracle. Mm -hmm, which this mm -hmm. is missionary speak, right? And then all this area to write. If you sit down, and this is what I explained to him, if you write bullet points of your highlights, then all that thinking kind of gets collaborated. These are your nuggets. This is what you want to write about. Okay. And then here comes your elaboration. And so sometimes when you sit down, people don't know what to think about. Right. So if you spend the first five minutes of your journaling session Bulleting. bullet pointing, then you have content. What do you think, I want to go back to his kind of take off runaway passion, of course your mama heart is so proud, but Very. what do you think appealed to this millennial who grew up with essentially Facebook and digital memory keeping, what is appealing to him about this? Well, I think, I mean obviously he's having really remarkable experiences. Sure. And for us sometimes we think maybe my life isn't exciting enough. Right. But if you look, and this is, this is what I've been teaching and talking about for years, if you look for that those pieces in your life, you will find it. So it's a matter of really analyzing your day, again, to that mindfulness you talked yes. about. Even yes. if I'm changing diapers what or I'm notice? in the trenches of motherhood, those small little yeah. standouts could become a stellar journal entry. Yep, absolutely. So what do you see coming down the pipe, so to speak, with journaling? Are there tools and, and accessories and well, products out there that will help I us? I think, to me, I think personalization is really important. Um, and pen writing. One of the first things I sat, I had him sit down and try pens. Now this may be silly. No, people say this makes a difference if you have the right tools, a pen, the right beautiful pen so in your hand. I am obsessed with the Pilot G2.38. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, so this is a very, very fine tip. Not a lot of ink, doesn't soak through your paper. Nice. And it's, and it's smooth. It glides. Love it. So did, did you, you just find, purr? I did. did. Purr? I did because I have an emotional attachment. You love that pen. I do. Also paper. 
Um, and that's where I love to get very technical and personal. So these are 28 pound paper, which is more than text weight, but less than like a, you know, like a heavyweight. And, and then your ink isn't soaking through. Nice. And you're not worrying about those right. details. Right. Also, you know, you can make your own. And this, what I brought, this is a cinch. And you can see, you know, we're not going to have time to really go it's into this. It's called a cinch? It's called a cinch. Okay. Almost like it cinches the coils, but also it's... Easy as cinchy. It's cinchy. <laughs> Play on words. You clever, clever girl. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Um, so you can, this punches it. Uh -huh. It also binds it. Really easy to make it very personal. And then you can put in photos. Yeah, I love how you did that with the pop out. Just, it does make it personal and it brings those stories to life. Well, and one of the things that I've, I've realized is, well, and you can learn a lot about it. When you sit down and you have a photo, it prompts you. And it makes you feel things. And it's those feelings that we're trying to get onto mm -hmm. paper. So photos help. Well, help I'm thinking do that. your iPhone could come in handy here. I know we're talking Absolutely. about the old fashioned way, but I'm snapping constantly pictures of Emmy and Boston throughout the day. And if I look back on those photos, it does bring forward that emotion in the moment that I was feeling as their mom. And you could really bring that out in your Absolutely. writing. Absolutely. And when those things prompt you, you can write down. And then there's so much more to it. So I don't think, you know, not everybody can do this every day. Yeah. But if you did set aside once a week or, you know, take out some, some time in, in your day, set it aside, keep all your tools kind of together, and take that time, you'll be surprised how refreshing it really is. I feel motivated, and this was a simple conversation. You brought simple tools, simple products, but really just investing in the idea to get back to that pure form of storytelling. Absolutely. Heidi, thank you. You're and we welcome. wish that Colton well. He's doing good? He's doing so well. Time's moving so slow great. for you, but yeah, I miss him. Howdy goes. Thank you so much. We